Hi everyone, it's Mama Goose. How are you guys doing? So today I'm gonna be doing a haul for you guys. I have been doing, I have been wanting to do this in so long. I'm so excited. There are a lot of products I wanted to show you guys, and um, some of these products I have tried, and I can give you an honest opinion about it. And I'm so so excited, you guys. And um, let me know if you want a review on the products I haven't tried or any of these um, products that I tried and you want like a very specific review about it, please comment in the comment box below. All of the, the things that I purchased would be in the description box also. And um, I hope this video is useful for you guys and I'm so excited, so excited to try. I want to fix my hair. I look like a lazy person. So <laughs> one more thing guys, the products that I I'm about to tell you guys the products that I just hauled. I didn't buy it actually in the same time at the same place, but I bought it at random times and random places. So I just wanted to put um, in this haul because there are things that I loved before and I repurchased it, and I just, I'm just so excited and I just can't wait to tell it to you guys. So. Let's just get this whole thing started. Okay, so first of all, you guys, I bought it like a month ago, I think. I forgot. But this is something that you guys know I love. I think it was in my budget um, friendly product. And this is the Silky Girl Double Intense Duo Eyeshadow. I had the Silver Star. And now I bought the Flushed Maple. This is a very beautiful um, pink and plum. I actually love the texture between the two of them. These are the um, swatches, you guys. So pigmented, so shimmery. I love this um, fl uh, uh, like what? plummy color. <laughs> Maple. Plummy color on my lid. And then I also blend this pinky color up to my crease. They're just so beautiful for a night out look. I love it. I cannot complain. It's just amazing. And it's only like 42 Dollar for sorry, 42 IDR. I'm so sorry. I still keep into this dollar thing. I'm so sorry. So it's 42,000 rupees. So I really enjoy it. I really love it. Again, from Silky Girl because I love Silky Girl so much. This is the double intense liquid eyeliner. I didn't like it because, um, so it's supposed to shake well before you even apply, but and it came in this, um, like a kind of like a sharp. Uh, and or something and it's so so runny and liquidy I don't really like the liquidy type it's so runny it dries really really fast and it stays for a while but you really have to dip it in and then you apply it, and then dip it in again and then you apply it that's like wasting time I don't like it it's like a no no for me I, I don't like it I'm sorry don't just don't Alright, so the next one is something that you guys know I really like and I also recommend it to you guys. This is the Silky Girl High Definition Gel Eyeliner Pen. I ran out of my old one and I repurchased another one and this is so amazing. This is basically gel eyeliner in a pen form. It glides like butter, beautiful and it's pigmented and soft and creamy. I use a lot of ends because I love this product so freaking much. Next thing from also Silky Girl, I bought a lot of Silky Girl stuff, so you guys bear with me because I love Silky, Silky Girls way too much. And I'm sorry if I'm speaking too fast because I am trying to be friend with my camera which only records for 5 minutes. So <laughs> from Silky Girl, also the Precision Sharp Eyeliner Pen in Black is Black. I never tried this one before but I'm so excited to try this because it has a very unique tip. So it's not like any eyeliner pen before. Take a look at the tip. This is so sharp and I am so excited to try and to make a cat eye out of this eyeliner because it's the tip that draws me into it. It's just so good. I never tried this. However, I'm excited and I will let you guys know on how does this apply. And if you guys want a specific um, first impression or what review about this, let me know in the comment box below. Alright? And the last one from Silky Girl is this Blush Hour. I had Blush Hour way before and this specific shade is called Dune Rose. Lately I'm so in love with all rosy things because they're just so natural and beautiful. And um, if you guys can see here in the swatch, 
it has a slight shimmer. What am I doing with this? It has a slight shimmer in it, but I don't know if you guys can tell. But it's just so beautiful and I love it and I'm so excited to wear this out because I never tried it on my cheeks just yet. But again, really excited. No, I forgot. That is not actually the last one from Silky Girl, but the last one from Silky Girl is this mascara. This is the Eye Opener Mascara. And um, this claims to be waterproof. No complaints. It's right. It's, it's waterproof. But the problem with this is the liquid in it. The formula. It. I love the finish. However, I love the finish. And I love the way it holds my lashes. Pretty. No complaint. But the formula didn't dry quickly as many waterproof mascara is. It, oh, the finish is just so beautiful. It, li it lifts my eyelashes. It holds my eyelashes so pretty well. But it, it needs a thousand years to dry and I just don't want it. But it, it's pretty though. It's, it's really pretty. However, I want this to work so bad because I love the finish. So I just like applied it, like two coats, one coat, and then I just blink into a tissue in here, blink it a few times to make sure it doesn't even dry on me, it doesn't even smudge it out on my lower lash line or my under eyes, so yeah, that's the way I use it. And I love the one brushes though, it's just... Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 yeah. I like this kind of brush. Fuck yo. So, um, if you guys want to buy it, buy this one, probably I would say it, it works pretty well for someone who wants natural eyes, which I want natural eyes, but still give a little bit of a drama to it. But just be careful using this one. And I suggest that after you apply mascara, after you apply this mascara, like two coats or one coat, clean the brush with a tissue paper and just use the brush to comb your lashes pretty pretty trust me pretty. all right so moving on this is no more um silky girl i promise you guys this is the ines satin smooth liquid foundation heard a lot of hypes about this one good foundations blah 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 nice coverage agree this is a very good foundation for someone who likes natural skin, natural finish, and um, it doesn't even weigh too much. It's it's so lightweight, but the problem that I had with this is I just applied it once. It's really hard to blend, and it sets so quickly. I don't like it even though I kind of damp my sponge and just applied it. It dries so quickly, so it's kind of hard to blend it out. I don't know what to use with it. I don't know if I use if I should use my finger, if I should use brush, I don't know. If you guys know how to work with this one, please leave a comment in the comment box below. I want to know because I am wanting this to work, you know, because I heard lots of good reviews about it. So I just want to know you guys, so leave me in the comment box below on how you use it and how you feel about this one. Again, if you want a first impression, I would do it. If you want a deep, intense review about it, would do it as well. After I've tried it for a few times. Next thing is from Warda. I started to love this um, line, actually. This is the um, matte lipstick in bronze nude. And this is only 25000 for a very beautiful finish. So this is that's how it looks like right there. It's just... A peachy nude color which is suitable for my skin tone and um, that's the finish if you guys can see that's the finish and that's what I'm wearing today and I like it so far I really really like it because um it is semi matte actually it's not really matte which I love and um, it's hydrating it's actually hydrating on your lips and it stays pretty well so I gotta apply like twice after I eat and yeah, it's pretty good. And the color is perfect. It's not too bright nude. It's not too dark nude. So it's a perfect nude for daily use. And it's cheap. It's only 25000 Don't complain about 25000 because it's very, very good. Next thing that I bought also is from Red A. I never tried Red A before. And this is the Red A Compact Powder. I have it in number four. Just number four. I never tried it so deep to give you guys a review about it because I so far I don't need a touch up on my makeup which is amazing I don't need a touch up but um, 
I think it's supposed to mattify your skin. I think it's kind of like a translucent powder to keep your face shine free. And I'm excited to try. Sorry, I blind you guys. Um, I'm so excited to try this. And every time I have my oily spots everywhere, I will try to use it. But so far, I cannot say anything because I haven't tried on it just yet. So, I love it. Again, if you want a first impression or a specific review, comment below. Okay, because I never tried this one as well. But it's cheap. It's cheap. I forgot to mention that. It's cheap. It's only 21,000 rupees. Moving on, you guys. So, I have a foundation, another foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup. And my specific foundation is for a combi combination to oily skin. And my shade is True Beige. Now, I want to buy this foundation for a while now. A while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. Family Guy reference. Classic. So I wanted to try this foundation for a little while now. And um, I got it yesterday and now I am wearing it today. And so far, I have nothing to complain. The foundation sticks pretty, pretty good. It stays well on my face. But again, I, I only tried it once. I only tried it today. And I'm just going to keep trying to wear this because I had good reviews. I read a lot of reviews and a lot of high am beauty guru that are so so good at, the, at what they're doing they also recommend this one so i'm excited to try this one a little bit more i love it so far it covers the redness it covers some of my acne scars pretty good but it just doesn't cover the big guess that i'm having on my chin can you guess where it is okay i just love this foundation um it was so nice. Probably I can do a blog post about it, but not a video or anything. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you want to review. Probably I'm going to review this on a blog post anyway. Blog post uh, will be in the down bar. Again, it will be in the down bar. Alright, so the next thing that I bought is from Nivea, actually. This is Nivea Vitamin Shake, Cranberry and Raspberries. I never used this because I still have my lip smacker. It almost ran out though, but I smelled this. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like smoothies. Oh god, I love it. And um, it says it has vitamin E, C, uh, Pro B5, and um, it also has SPF 10. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm super excited. But I tried it on my hand, and um, it does have that primer feel. If you guys know what I mean. It's not too glossy, so it has that primer feel. So probably better if I use it at night because now I really like to put chapstick on my um, lips at night to make it hydrating and moisturizing. So I would probably put this at night because it feels so good on my skin. On my skin, on my lips. Watch your mouth, Kay. Watch your mouth. Alright, so the next thing that I bought is something that I really like, actually. I came to like it. This is the Maybelline Color Show Nail Polish in Wine and Dine. So that's like a like a wine color with a lot of sparkles like that. So I have three Color Show nail polish already and I like the formula though. It's a little bit like gel formula and it's it's pretty well However, I do have, this is better than Sally Hansen. I do have Sally Hansen and I ate it to my blood because it chips like freaking easily. I don't know if it's Sally Hansen's fault. I don't know if it's my nails fault. I don't know, but I love the color show better. It's, it stays on very nicely. It, I have been sticking with that with a, a week almost and I really like it. So, I love this color. I have been eyeing for this color for a very, very long time, and now I get it, and I'm so happy. Could never be happier. So, I think from makeup line, I have two more to go. I have two more for make from makeup, and this is the NYX Mosaic Powder Blush, and I have it in Spice. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love this so freaking much, you guys. I really love it. First of all, these are these mosaics are pretty by its own. Like 
in each individual this color is so good so smooth so pigmented do I have finger left right so um these colors are just so crazy pigmented so beautiful and um, when I swirl it it's even more beautiful and I just can't wait to play with this one I haven't tried this on my actual cheek but I can't wait you guys and I really love that kind of like dusty bronzy natural cheek colors lately so I'm so excited to try this but the glow it's just so perfect that I want more of this line so um the last thing regarding to makeup is this Maybelline clean express total clean makeup remover it supposedly um, clean up your eye and lip makeup but I really love it I had it a while ago and um, I like it it cleans your um, mascara pretty well it cleans your eyelids pretty well and it's also clean your lips pretty well but I don't use this as all over makeup just the eye products because uh, sorry eye makeup because it has oil my, my face is oily so I kind of like a little bit cautious when it comes to oily makeup remover so overall I liked this product and I'm so glad that I bought it again alright so that's it for makeup now I have some out of topics or probably skincare and the first skincare is this um, pixie cleansing express anti-acne so it's supposedly for um, people who has acne problems and it has um, benzalkonium chloride as antibacteria dipotassima blah 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 I don't know this this language is so hard I like it so this is cl clinically proven not triggering um, pores and um, acne so I kind of like want to try this one because I had the UV brightening one and I like it it cleans up your foundation very quickly so I was curious about this one and plus I have lots of gas in my face which covered in that very good foundation and I was curious if it's just gonna um, prevent it a little bit more so yes excited to try marvelous and um, also this is the very first time I bought something from Airha this is the Airha 21 exfoliating cleansing scrub for oily skin this is an this is new for me because a lot of people doesn't even realize that sometimes scrub and exfoliating scrubs are two different things they think it's almost the same but I really think it's different because scrubs usually tends for uh, people who has um, drier skin because they have like dry patches and um, dead skin cells or whatever but they just don't have that for oily skin so I'm so excited to try this one plus um, Erha is a very great dermatologist so I think this is gonna be a good one and um, it smells like it smells like heaven so I'm so excited to try this and um, I hope that my face will be so much better with this one oh yeah before I forgot this Erha it has um, alpha hydroxy acid that kind of um, increased skin sensitivity to sunlight and possibility of sunburn so it's advisable after you use this product you should use um, SPF or a sunscreen or something there is an affordable sunscreen product you guys if you see banana boat or Hawaiian tropic there is a cheaper alternative to that and it's called skin aqua that you can have that in um, Carrefour or Lotte that's just very very um, affordable but it's just uh, performing as the same as Banana Boat and Hawaiian Tropic and it also has variants for oily skin and dry skin so you don't have to worry but it is again it's advisable to use um, SPF after you use this during and after a week using this product so keep in mind you guys before buying this one so it's not a skincare I don't know exactly how to call this but it's Rexona deodorant stick in fresh now I think it's 3,000 I don't know probably 5,000 6,000 I don't know cheap but it is amazing it smells like heavenly patches it smells so fresh it smells so good and it doesn't uh, make your armpits wet it doesn't leave stain on your clothes 
I love it. It's an oldie but a goodie, and I love it. I haven't used it in a very long time, but now I use a lot of high-end brands. I use Marks and I use Marks and Spencer. I use Body Shop. I use Nivea. Nothing worked on me as good as this one. So welcome back, Rexona, and I love this one. I love this specific um, scent. Fresh, it's beautiful. All right, so I guess that's it for makeup and skincare line. Now off to the random ones and it's this card though you guys it's just pretty it is the zebra pattern if you guys can see the zebra so I got it at Payless it's only 150,000 it's just so beautiful and it's infinity uh, let me show you guys so whoa as you can see that's infinity scarf and I am into infinity scarfs lately and I just love it so much and it's affordable so I love it. One last thing and this is very very random. This um I don't know how to show it. This tattoo you guys. This tattoo is just so pretty, so beautiful. And I got it from Po Tattoo. The um, Po Tattoo one actually. Uh, you can get this on potattoo1.com also from their Instagram. Link will be down below if you guys want to know. This is a very beautiful tattoo, you guys. It's temporary, but it's so beautiful. And I picked up two of um, other designs. This is Mandala. This is so Indian looking. I love everything Indian. So exotic. And um, a bunch of these um, words like belief, faith, trust, and hope. I just I just love these tattoos so much. I really love temporary tattoos. I want an, a real one, but I can't have it. So instead, I'm just having this one, and I'm in love with this. I can't stop looking at my hands. Just so, so pretty. And you know what, guys? I have to twist my hand so you guys can see the beautiful of this tattoo. Or maybe I... I oh, yeah! <laughs> you guys can see? You guys can see? You guys can see? No, no, no. Okay, guys, that... That's it. That's the um, products that I bought and I hauled to you guys. And if any of you guys already tried any of these products, get, leave me in the comments below. Especially the products I haven't tried. Let me know what you think. Comments below and just show some love. Show some prettiness because I really want to try these pro some of these products because I think they are just so worth the price and they're just eye catching. So I bought it and. Um, before I forget, you guys, I made a collab, my very first collab, not beauty related, but game related. We'll link the video down below. I had the collab with my friend Jade, so geeky. Jade's channel also will be down below. Is a very funny guy. Everything will be down below, you guys. My collab video, my blog, my Instagram, Po Tattoo Instagram will be in the description box below. Also to the products that I have here down below. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for um, bearing with me because I talk a lot and sometimes it has no points. So, um, <coughs> let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want me to do in my next video and um, subscribe, like, comment, please on my video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please stay beautiful. Bye bye!